This is a Let's Talk Church Safety and Security Microsode with your host, Paul Buckner. Hey, Sheepdogs. So, I wanted to talk about your sights being off. And this is both a literal and a spiritual thing. So, the other day, I ended up, my holstered firearm, I was moving it, and my thumb slipped, and it hit the floor. And uh, I know better, but without thinking about it, I just picked it up, holstered it, and went on with my day. It was in a retention holster. It didn't, you know, it's not going off. It's fine. Except it had knocked the sights off of it. And as in completely misalignment. And so I did an entire ride along. I try to be a very transparent person. I did an entire uh, day's worth of ride alongs. I was working with a department that was, that is in the middle of a really rough situation. And they've had a tragedy uh, that's ongoing at their department. So I rode with a member of their administration, their admin yesterday. And then I rode with uh, one of their beat cops who, both of which are believers. And I had a fantastic conversation just about God and life. And sometimes life's messy. And so it's fantastic. And then I'm home last night and uh, I'm checking my weapon. I'm getting ready to do a little bit of dry fire practice. And the sights are off. And I just, I, I was like, wow, God, that is alarming and shame on me. I should check the sights. First off, I don't drop my weapon. That's not something that happens hardly at all. And it's part of the reason that I do a lot of my administrative handling of my firearm is in the holster. If I need to just move it, it's holstered. And so, um, are your sights off? So first and foremost, when we regularly work with our firearm, it's much easier for us to find out if the sights are off. And I literally, I literally had a police officer that, you know, we joke about, oh, the sights must be off on your gun. They were. And so he called me kind of freaked out and he's like, hey, I need your, your drift tool. I need you to come to the department. He's like, I just found out. He's like, I was in a, an altercation the other day. And he's like, I, I went to the range after the altercation to shoot and I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. And he said, I got, the, I got the look in and the sights are off on my gun. He had been knocked to the ground during the altercation so hard that it, it, it drifted the sight on his gun. And that is something that we need to be aware of, not only in the literal sense, but then in life, are there things that we are doing um, that have our sights off. I had a conversation with an officer this morning. It's a fantastic conversation about what God is doing in his life. And he's working on a canine program and, and God just, he's, he's a believer and God is just at every angle is blessing what he's trying to do with this canine program. People are donating money. People are totally behind it because they want drugs off their streets. They want the kids safer. And this dog will be not only drug interdiction, but will be search and rescue. So you've got a small child that disappears and you know minutes are critical and, and you find out the, where the child ended up going. Um, that's huge. Fantastic, fantastic to see how God is blessing what he's doing. We had this conversation about, about keeping our, our focus on God. Um, because he is the one that's allowing for this because atypically that stuff does not happen and it does not happen uh, with that much ease. That's that's God literally blessing and streamlining the process with that fantastic conversation. So in a literal sense, make sure your sights aren't off. Uh, check your weapon. And uh, I, I drifted mine uh, after I had gotten home last night. I actually took the weapon apart and uh, went to a different weapon because uh, it was a date night with my wife and, and I just went to a different weapon. This morning I used the drift tool and I set my sights back where they belong. So we need to, we need to do that spiritually as well. So there's a little bit of a, a spiritual aspect to that. And then just what are we focused on? Because it's a, if, if you're like me, your focus can get off really quickly, squirrel. And yeah, so make sure that you're keeping your sights where they belong. God bless. If you enjoyed this microsode, check out the video and audio versions of the Let's Talk Church Safety and Security podcast.